Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing the Lightning Arrows update coming to Blade & Soul on March the 22nd. Now, I haven't seen any news on this on the official Blade & Soul page. I'm not sure if it's from my side, but uh, with that being said, it might be delayed until the 29th. So, I'm still looking for that. Now, big disclaimer before we jump into this video is that uh, I'm currently sick, so my voice will crack now and then. Also, some of the information that I'm getting is from the Alice Korea Discord. You can find a link to that in the description down below. Also, you can join my Discord server in the description link. You can also subscribe, like, and share with your friends to help them understand the patches. I also have new players guide. I know that the uh, current guide that I have up, it needs to be refreshed. I will be doing a new players guide uh, come the new patch so I can compile everything and just make one big thing. So yeah, looking forward to that as well. Also, I have the insignia guide to drop as well. Now, before we proceed, keep in mind that not everything that I say in this video will come from Korea one to one. You know they like to ninja nerf our patches, so uh, keep that in mind when you're looking at the new system changes, item changes, and rewards. So yeah, there's a lot to discuss, so let's jump right into it. So first thing first, Archer 3rd Spec will be making its way into the live servers. Now keep in mind, Archer 3rd Spec really differs from the other two spec of the Archer. With that being said, Archer 3rd Spec has a lot of charging skills, okay? So there's a lot of time you will be standing still and holding on to a button to charge up your skills and to do big damage. But what concerns me with this is that with the current content that we have, the Demon Bane, especially Chimera Lab, standing still and charging skills will be super, super risky. So I'm hoping that this uh, spec does come with a lot of resists or heals or something to help you reap the rewards of the high risk, high charging skills. Now, this spec is called Lightning Arrows, but I'm not sure if that's the name for our server, but it is a Lightning spec. Now, with that being said, after we get the Archer 3rd spec, we should be looking forward to the Astro Mancer 3rd spec, and that is not yet revealed in Korea, so that will take some time. And then we can look forward to the Dual Blade, and last but not least, the Bard class. Now, if there's any other class that comes out, which is the Lancer slated for 2023, we will see that third spec after the bard class has gotten theirs which is the musician class okay but that is in next year okay guys so with that being said let's talk about the new dungeon coming to the live servers and this dungeon is called halls of epiphany and this dungeon will be dropping the oculus belt and the oculus bracelet now keep in mind this is the last accessories for the oculus tier so this will be closing out uh, the Oculus accessories overall. So the next accessories that we should be seeing is some new accessories that I will talk about in a later video. Now, when this dungeon drops, it will be replacing the Altar of the Infinite has the highest uh, tier bracelet belt dungeon. Now, what you need to keep in mind is that Ultra of the Infinite won't have any stages. You'll only have easy mode, normal mode, and hard mode. It will be a normal dungeon. Now, with that being said, the soul boost requires you to do stages of Ultra of the Infinite. So you need to complete those quests before this update rolls in because uh, the new dungeon will be replacing the Ultra of the Infinite quests. Okay, so you can complete the altar of the infinite and then uh, complete this to get more points if you haven't completed everything that you needed okay now with all of that being said keep in mind when a new dungeon comes in and replace a older dungeon what will happen is that uh, the halls of epiphany will drop the star cross belt and the bracelet at stage one and it will drop the oculus stuff and the upsurge stuff at stage five as the other dungeons okay so you can get your bracelet if you haven't gotten it uh, from the soul boost with the screw up so that is just another way you can get it also you can get it from easy mode normal mode or hard mode of uh, altar of the infinite okay and it won't be rng so you don't have to worry about that okay so with this update, I'm hoping that they allow True Upsurge Weapon to drop at Stage 8 Chimera Lab because Stage 8 
at the moment is not worth doing. So yeah, that will be really interesting because I am bored of uh, Grim Nexus. Now with that being said, let's talk about the new souls. So I will be leaving the item effect on the screen along with the image of it. I won't stay too long on this. Any news such as item upgrade costs or so, they will post this on their website as they normally do. So you can check that out. Now with the new dungeon coming, there will be psyches and these psyches can be used on their bracelet. Now with the new dungeon coming, this dungeon will be dropping new psyches and these new psyches can be used on your bracelet or your belt. Okay, now you want to save these uh, items for Oculus tier accessories. Do not use these on your star cross accessories. So that is something to note. Also, the unity level will be increased to 240. So that is something interesting for a lot of players. Now, the Hong Moon level will increase to level uh, 50. So you can look forward to that as well. Now, with this update, we will be getting the Northern Continent. And what's so different with this continent is that basically you need to interact with your open world. Now, if you know Blade and Soul before, you don't have much uh, open world stuff to do. It's basically hurry up, complete your quest, and then live in F8 or just do your soul boost. So this will be an exciting turn for the game. Hopefully, we can see a lot of persons while doing our quests or completing certain field bosses. So this will be super, super interesting. Now, what is important to know is that you will have a journal that you will get and basically, you can get stats for killing certain field bosses, for exploring certain areas, and collecting certain items. So, with this update, we will be getting a bounty system or a wanted system. Basically, you need to kill certain Demon's Bane bosses or certain mobs to get tokens. And when you get these tokens, you can basically purchase certain items. Now, that's a lot of system in the game. So, I'm hoping that I can keep track of all these systems because this update is a big update and it does have a lot of systems. Also, keep in mind that... Uh, we do have the card system, the insignia system, the compound system, the journal. It's a lot of things to keep track of. So hopefully a lot of persons uh, will understand each of these systems and not overlook them because the rewards is a bit sweet. I can say that. Okay, but we have to see what we get on our side. Hopefully it's not ninja nerfed. And when I say the card system, I mean the portrait. Okay, or the art gallery. Now, with this update, we will be getting a new field boss. Now, this field boss will open at certain times of the day. And this field boss is located in the northern continent. Also, keep this in mind that it's similar to Kaldrak, uh boss where uh, a lot of persons can gang him and basically uh, get loot. Now, this loot varies because it does have the portrait and there is a chance of insignias okay but keep in mind we're not sure if we're gonna get the same rewards as korea so keep that in mind another thing to note is while you're in this area your graphic settings will be automatically adjusted to accommodate the stress that it will put on your pc and you won't be able to change this setting until you leave the area so that is very important to note so you will be able to exchange your tokens for shimmering scale. So this is the conversion rate here. Also, we will be getting a tradable version of the Upsurge Evolution Stone. So if you know this stone, basically it doesn't fail when you use it. But I'm hoping that this stone is not super, super expensive, like crazy expensive. So I will be looking out for that and see how it affects the premium transformation stones because if you know the price for them right now it's pretty insane so i am looking out for that now with this update the ranking system for one versus one and six will change along with the demon's bane ranking system okay now spectral shrine will be removed from the ranking system also the rewards will change so there won't be any soul stones or any moon stones it will be like XP and gold and another item. I'm not sure. With that being said, you'll also be able to see F8 recruitment messages from open world. So you have to activate that in your chat settings. Okay, so that will be interesting to see play out. Now with this update, we're also getting skill patch. Okay, now I'm not sure if we're getting this specific skill patch in this update. 
uh, but you can still look out for it. So basically, it's a Blade Master and Musician nerf. Now, the Musician is going to get a big, big nerf, and this confirms uh, my theory. Basically, they're going to nerf the Bard before the Lancer comes out, or whatever class they have scheduled next, they will make sure that Bard is nerfed to the floor so that is one of the reasons why i never chose this class but hopefully uh the nerf won't not the class useless and turn it into a buff slave okay now that is my fear now i'm not a fan of the bard or the musician class because it's boring in my opinion but a lot of persons really enjoy this class so hopefully the nerf isn't too bad but as i said i'm not sure if it's this patch we're getting it but this update will come in pretty pretty soon like it's the next skill patch that is due so you can look forward to that in this patch or probably two months from now so yeah also some other stuff to note is that we will be getting a lobby background change okay now that is long overdue just another touch or another change to the game we also getting UI changes. Also, we are getting some new crafting items. So when you go to your crafting guild, you can see some new items there to craft. You will also see a new crafting material that you can obtain from the Dragon Express or from fishing. Now, again, this is what Korea have. We might not get this uh, exactly the same. So that is something to note. So do not quote me on this. But that is what Korea has gotten. So there's a high chance we will get the same. So along with this update, we will be getting the mythical tri-wing gem. So that is something else to note. Keep in mind, these gems are super, super endgame. And I doubt any new players can actually touch one of these without spending money. Last but not least, the class change voucher is rumored to be in the April patch. Now, the April patch is pretty much a small patch with, I think, uh, mechanic changes. But yeah, that patch is pretty small. Now, what worries me is why would they put the class change in that patch, knowing that the Archer 3rd spec comes out in the March patch. It will make complete sense to uh, reap the benefits from people trying out the new class but they might drop a extra slot voucher so that is something to look forward to it would be surprising if they actually drop a level 60 voucher so we'll have to see how it plays out keep in mind this is the biggest patch of the year and we're just starting 2023 so expect anything anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video if you want to see more content like this like share and subscribe and click the bell notification also most of the images and the information comes from the alice korea discord so you can check in the description link down below anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video and goodbye